Hi, welcome to Man of Faith Ministries. My name's Brian, and we're up to chapter 13 in the book of Romans in our New Testament reading from Matthew right through to Revelation, one chapter at a time. Hope you've joined us for the previous ones. If not, there's a link in the description. So please, let's just get on with it. Hope you enjoy it today. Chapter 13, be subject to government. I find this very interesting, this chapter. Chapter 13, every person is to be in subjection to the governing authorities. For there is no authority except from God, and those in which exist are established by God. Therefore, whoever resists authority has opposed the ordinance of God, and they who have opposed will receive condemnation upon themselves. Verse three, for rulers are not a cause of fear for good behavior, but for evil. Do you want to have no fear? of the authority do what is good and you will have praise from the same for it is a minister of god to you for good but if you do what is evil be afraid for he does not bear the sword for nothing for it is a minister of god an avenger who brings wrath on the one who practices evil therefore it is necessary to be in subjection not only because of wrath but also for conscience sake for because of this you also pay taxes for rulers are servants of God devoting themselves to this very thing now render to all what is due them tax to whom tax is due custom to whom custom fear to whom fear honor to whom honor verse 8 owe nothing to anyone except to love one another for he who loves his neighbor has fulfilled the law for this you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet. And if there is any other commandment, it is summed up in this saying, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no wrong to a neighbor, therefore love is the fulfillment of the law. Do this knowing the time that it is already the hour for you to awaken from sleep. For now salvation is nearer to us than when we believed. The night is almost gone and the day is near. Therefore let us lay aside the deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us behave properly as in the day, not in caris carousing and drunkenness, not in sexual promiscuity and sensuality, not in strife and jealousy, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh in regards to its lusts. That's the end of chapter 13. Hope you've enjoyed that. Listen to God's law and God's um, grace first. First and foremost, God comes first. If your government is doing something that's evil, then listen, pray about it, follow what God tells you. Till next time, we've got chapter 14, which is principles of conscience. There's only a couple of chapters left of um, the book of Romans. So we've... Um, Get stuck into that next time. Until then, please stay safe, take care, and may the Lord bless your day today.